Hey guys, Captain Foley back with you again today, and today I'm in front of my Star Trek book collection. I've got a lot of Star Trek books, just saying. Um, anyway, um, we're going to be taking a look at one you guys might not be aware of. This one's written by David Mack, and um, it's from 2002. The Star Trek Starfleet Survival Guide, which is actually very, very, very cool. Um, on the back here it says, As the brave men and women of Starfleet carry out their duties, mapping countless solar systems, greeting new species, and establishing ties with civilizations large and small, they live, work, and face the possibility that they could die in space. How do Starfleet's finest survive the countless dangers to be discovered as they boldly go where no one has gone before? Find out with this special edition of the Starfleet Survival Guide. Contains up-to-date classified information on standard equipment, non-standard uses, unconventional medicine, dangerous life forms, and extreme scenarios, and more. For further reference, if you are considering an exciting and fulfilling career in the diplomatic and and scientific fleet of the United Federation of Planets, please contact your local Starfleet representative. That's got document 10132161058-0313, reprinted with permission of the of Starfleet Information and Instruction Agency. This edition has been modified for security purposes for distribution only within the Federation, United Federation of Planets. So a nice little uh, description on the back of the book there. I love that that last part's there, that it's been reprinted with permission of the, of Starfleet because the original Franz Joseph Technical Manual had much the same thing where it was like, it was prefaced with the thing that it was actually a transmission from one Starfleet ship to another that got intercepted via a time portal and came through to our time and was printed. So it's kind of some neat stuff there. So anyway, this is... An interesting little book if you haven't seen it I highly recommend picking it up um, there's some really cool stuff in here such as um, standard and non-standard equipment you've got the interior of a tricorder here or console maintenance panel sorry my bad um, removing uh, parts from your com badge Uh -huh. where to attach filaments like there's a lot of uh, things in here for like you see them doing different episodes and things um, you also got information on the Starfleet rifles and phasers I mean there's just so much there's just so much stuff uh, proper positions for at atmospheric entry should you find yourself in a spacesuit situation where you have to re-enter the atmosphere. Um, that's a terrifying prospect. But and it's got alternative medicines. Um, cultivating the ma Mako root. Right there. And that's um, for the Magachi Bite, which, considering we just got that episode of Lower Decks, uh, Magachi Gamatu, um, that's pretty interesting, actually. Uh, we have Surviving a Crystalline Entity Attack. Because why not? The inner workings of a, na uh, the workings of a nanite. Let's get some nanite information there. I hope this isn't boring for you guys. I wasn't sure how to review books necessarily, but um, I just kind of wanted to show you some of the stuff. Fending off and attacking Mugatu. Fairly important thing for Starfleet to know. Mugatu facts. Each Mugatu defends an area of personal space which can vary from a few dozen square meters to several kilometers, and encroaching on that space can provoke an attack. Mugatu are very strong and very fast. They can run almost as quickly as a Terran horse or a Klingon Sark. Most humanoids cannot outrun them. Mugatu have superior auditory, visual, and olfactory senses. Mugatu are excellent climbers and can easily pursue their prey into trees and up steepy, ro steep rocky inclines. Mugatu aggressively defend food, whether it is, their, it is their kill or a carcass they have scavenged. 
Avoid carrion, uh, even if no Magatu presence is evident. Pregnant and nursing female Magatu on Nero, on Nero, that's the planet, consume large quantities of natural Mako root. If you encounter large patches of this plant, leave the area immediately as they will likely be a cent uh, central to a Magatu nesting area. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, it's got wrestling free of a, a, denebulin, a denebulin, denebulin slime devil. Dene yeah, that word. Denebulin, denebulin whatever. Uh, you got La Mantra in here. Oof. Um, flight schematic for forced shuttle reentry. Uh, re Transporting from ships at moving speeds. Detecting cloaked objects and vessels at close and intermediate ranges. <laughs> so this is a qu quite a useful book, guys, if you're thinking of um, getting into Starfleet. Um, talked about soliton waves there. The hazard zone of a created solar flare. Surviving while adrift in space. Aww. So yeah, lots of nice little things in here. Um, just a fun little book, um, which, I mean, I'm not sure a lot of people necessarily know about, but, you know, a Starfleet survival guide is a cool thing to have, should you want to get into Starfleet. So anyway, just a quick little video here talking about this book. Um, I will be doing more of these if you guys are so inclined. I'm not sure, I'll have to perfect the formula as to how I want to do these necessarily, um, but there is some really great stuff in these books. And as you can see, I've got a large collection of both older books, um, older manuals and things, which some of them are quite obscure, um, to the Eagle Moss stuff, and then, you know, a, a variety of things. This whole bookshelf <laughs> is actually um, Star Trek stuff. So, anyway guys, that is it. Thank you so much, David Mack, for um, writing this book. This was originally $14 US tw and $22 Canadian um, and £7.99 UK. So, there you go. If you can pick it up, I would suggest doing so. There's some really great stuff in here, and you feel like you're a member of Starfleet this way. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Captain Foley signing off. Just make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels, the Captain Foley personal channel and Trek Yards, and check out other videos by us as well. Until next time, guys, live long and prosper.